Good morning everyone. To start off today, we are going to get the store set up. just finished setting up the store not only do we do vegetables and fruits and stuff we also bake pies and cakes and brownies and cookies and we sell those at our store what you doing Grammy making apple dumplings look at this one. Ooh, ooh, the wash the wash and it's just the sticks the dough together with the water there you go look at that we also make apple dumplings. There they are in the oven. And here's the finished product. Ooh, so nice. They're taking away some cabbage that we picked. We picked eight bins yesterday. They, Matt loaded it on with the forklift. And I guess they're making sauerkraut with it, so they needed eight full bins of cabbage. Looks like Joel is down here. Working hard already. Turkeys have been let free. All signs point to Joel has been here. I was correct. Look, here he is working hard. Getting the cow silage. Good man. There's some jobs we have to do every morning. Setting up the store. Well, that's every day except Sunday. And then there's taking care of the cows, the chickens, and then there's Joel. He has so much stuff on the top of his hat right now. What in the world did you get into? <laughs> Good morning, turkeys. You can see how large they've grown from the other videos. And like I said, Joel's got all the silage for the cows. Now we're going to get some grain for them. Just checking on our calves. Everyone looks good. Everyone looks healthy. They are ready for breakfast. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go get them some nice breakfast. Oh, I like you. Joel is getting grain, and while Joel gets grain, we're going to feed the calves. All right, we're feeding now. How much formula does each calf get, Dad? Three quarters of a cup. Three quarters of a cup of formula in each bucket. And how much water do they get? Uh, about a quart and a half. Great bucket goes to the great calf. Everyone is drinking. Now what are you doing? Come on. This one is Lauren's calf. It's mentally challenged. <laughs> That's so we have to uh, trick it every morning to get it to drink. That's not funny. <laughs> this is my wife's cow. We haven't named all our calves yet, but we've named a few of them. Like this one right here, this is Spook, because the first day we brought Spook home, she jumped off the truck and ran away and we didn't find her till the next morning. So we called her Spook. This one's not named. This one's not That's named. That's no, no, this, this one, one this one's Dozer. And then we've named this one, this little fuzzy one. This one's name is Dozer. Hi Dozer, what's up? What's up? And that was Dozer, and then this is my wife's calf, which she has named, and her name is Cinders. Because my wife loves Disney, and it's short for Cinderella. And the rest of them I don't think have been named yet. How did feeding cows go? Good. All got their grain? Yep. Wonderful. Everyone is fed, everyone has fresh water, I need a sock. and in the middle of October, now we're going to pick tomatoes. 
You're still here making apple dumplings. I am indeed. I have help now. Woo! Very long time. Hello. <laughs> what is this? This is a camera. Oh, hi! Hi! That, number two. <laughs> So my grandmother's sister came over to help her make apple dumplings because how many do you have to make for an order? I have to make 446. 400. I thought it was only 300. No, 446. Oh man. So we peeled all these apples yesterday and now she's working on getting the apple dumplings done. Just another look. The ladies are getting the apple dumplings made. That looks so good. <laughs> they left me. I had to get footage! We are back in the tomato field. And we're going to pick some orders here. We have four boxes of tomatoes. Ah! I hope we can find them. We're going to wipe off these tomatoes now and put them in the boxes. We got one box finished. And dad got a box finished already over there. Got all our boxes of tomatoes finished. So we finished those boxes and then we're picking some extra for the store. And we picked these nice green tomatoes. It's shocking to find so many here in the middle of October. Got some cabbage before we went back to have at the store because we have none. We sold it all to that guy this morning. And Joel's holding a head of cabbage. But now we're heading back to the farm. So now we're about to go get straw and we're gonna fill the truck up with straw. And Matthew is going to get cabbage from another guy. He's getting two bins because we've picked all our cabbage basically. We were just picking in the baskets and that's literally everything we have ready in the fields now. So Matthew's going to get what he needs and then we're going to go load this up with straw and then him and Daniel are going to go pick up cabbage. Okay. Oh yeah. See it never actually falls down, it always looks like it's about to and then it just holds itself. <laughs> We got that truckload finished, so now they're going to go get cabbage, and Joel's going to pull up with the tractor. Alright, so we made a little debt, not a big one, but we got the wagon loaded up. Excuse me, Joel. So now it's time to close up the barn and we're gonna take the straw back. Okay, so now we have straw here to sell. Because the weather was so nasty yesterday, we had taken a lot of our pumpkins and put them down below. So my dad is bringing them up with the forklift and we're gonna fill up these bins we have up on the porch. And then we also have some pumpkins over in the greenhouse we have to bring up here too. Okay, so we're finished bringing everything up. We brought some squashes up. We filled the front of the store and dad brought bins up also. Okay, so now that we're done with that, we're gonna go get some lunch. Are you still working in here, Grammy? Yep. And now you Almost got done. this sister. Almost done. That sister's here. Almost done? How many more do you have left? About 150. 150 more to go. Boxes filled up of apple dumplings. They have more here to fill up. Busy, busy day. So we had lunch and I had to take my car somewhere. So after that, I came home and now I've got to take the 110 down and help Joel move some equipment around.
No, got the bean picker in. Now we're gonna try and put the corn planter in. There we go. All packed in. Tractor's all nice and parked. So now what are we gonna do? Make sauerkraut. Oh, you wanna make sauerkraut? Oh yeah. While Joel and I were getting the uh, equipment put away, Dad was cleaning up the, the table to cut the cabbage and shred the sauerkraut. So my job when we're doing sauerkraut is I basically take these cabbages, clean them up, make them look nice, put them like this, and I slice them in half so they can fit in the grinder that we have. And my other job is taking the cores out of the cabbage because that doesn't grind up. Okay, now turn it off. So while Joel and I are cutting and grinding the cabbage, what are you doing? Putting, putting the secret ingredient in, cabbage, and packing it. Because that's oh. the trick to good sauerkraut. It has to be packed tight. So the trick to good sauerkraut is it has to be packed tight. I have a full basket of scraps, so I'm going to take them over to the cows. Here you go. Oh yeah, you like your vegetables, don't you? Run out those cabbage leaves. We just give it to the cows because they love it. Grinding away? All right. I'm putting in the secret ingredient. And you were weighing it. How much weight has to be in there? Five pounds. And then you add the secret ingredient to how much Wait, there is? Yep. Okay, sounds good. And then Matt is packing it. The four buckets that we made. And in two, three days, we have to take these lids off and we have to weigh them down. So we open them up and we weigh the cabbage down. And then we have to wait about six weeks and then basically it's turned into sauerkraut. So that's what these buckets are gonna be doing. They're gonna be sitting here for a while and in six weeks, we'll be able to sell them. All finished cleaning up. Now we're done with sauerkraut today. We're almost done today. All we have to do yet is feed the calves. And uh, they're hungry. A lot of them are standing up. They look like they're ready. Hey guys. How we doing? Hi Cinders. Oh, you get special pets. Because you're my wife's cow. No favoritism. Right kitty? Before we leave for the night, we're going to climb up and throw some hay down for these guys. Well, I was going to end the video right now, but we have a problem. We can't find some of our turkeys. We let them out through the day just to let them wander around and do whatever they want and we only have 12 right now so there's three missing somewhere now we got to go find them well we found one over in the horse stables now I just have to get it without freaking out you come with me and now we found the second one this one's probably going to be a little more hard to catch because she's by herself. <laughs> Come 
Don't you dare. Come on. I got you. I got you. It's okay. It's okay. So we found our turkey. And that's where we're going to end the video today. Um, man, you are calm. She was not so calm a couple minutes ago. Uh, we want to thank everyone for watching my videos. And I hope to see you next time. Oh, bye bye Come on, jump. Jump. There you go.